Hello people on the internet and welcome back to yet another video of Factory Town. And as soon as I have started this recording, we have get gotten ourselves a pasture. So that is amazing. So uh, when we left off, um, we get, got ourselves a little uh, bit of a housing going on here. We got the food market, we got the general store, and we have a grain mill that produces flour. We have a stonemason that converts stone into stone bricks that is going to be sold into the general store. That is selling the, uh, the uh, stone bricks to the houses, which gives us red coins. For research purposes. And... We have just researched two buildings. We have researched the farm and the pasture. I'm so sorry. Two seconds. Uh, so yeah. Um. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I am drinking wine right now, so uh, that is why I'm burping a little bit. It is Saturday, so I don't have when I record this. So I don't have work tomorrow, so I can happily drink a little bit of wine if I want to. Yes, everyone out there. But uh, before I um, go any further, you can also grab a little bit of a drink and uh, just sit back, relax, maybe play a uh, factory town yourself while you're watching this video. I like to do the same thing. But enough of that. Uh, we have uh, a lot of things we are going to do this episode. This episode is going to be uh, like the length of the first episode, which is like uh, 40 to, to 45 uh, minutes per, ep per episode-ish, kind of. Because uh, I like the long episodes and, um, you know, you it's a chill game and uh, these episodes are pretty chill. So, yeah. Actually, we need to get some more planks into uh, the workshop so we can get a lot more wagon wheels. And also, we want to uh, research the forester. So that is what we're going to do right now. So the next thing. Last episode, we also finished the tutorial. So that is good. So now we, it's pretty much free play. So what I want to do this episode is get a little bit of... Um, more production going on so what do we want to make of some kind of production i am actually not sure but uh one thing i want to make is leather because i want the next base upgrade and uh, since we have researched both farm the farm and the pasture we can begin producing both uh, we can begin to produce a lot of different things so that is so amazing. But uh, I will begin by placing the farm um, right here. Wait, yes, that's right. Because when we place the farm, I want to place the farm. Um, actually, I want to make a, a little bit of a water going on right here. So we don't have to make a well. Actually, this was a lot of waste, a big waste of money, but I will place this right, uh, right here. Now we can make farm tiles, and farm tiles we need, um, yeah, we need a uh, what is it called? Uh, we need a uh, oh, we need fertilizer, but which me which means we need to put this over here actually, because then this can uh, get uh, what. Uh, Grain. This can uh, get a lot of grain. So, um, yes, now we unlock the forester. That's so amazing. Good. The next thing I want to research is actually beginning to uh, research conveyor belts and basic logistics. Uh, because I really want to begin a production of automation. But uh, yeah. So uh, we're just going to research this and uh, how much does it need? It needs two red coins for each research, but that's fine. 
and it takes 40 research um, points. I don't know if you can call it that, but uh, like this. And uh, how much production? We get t plus 10% pr percent production bonus, and that's really good. So yeah, uh, why I wanted to play th place this? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Why didn't I want to place this at a water source to begin with? Since this needs water to regrow things and all that stuff, because it's because we got a well last episode, if you remember, and we can actually assign a wagon to take autom automatically um, uh, pull water. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't remember the word. Pull water out of the well and put it directly into the farmer or the farm. So we have an automated uh, water source. You can also do that by placing a farm right next to the water like he right here. But um, it didn't really make sense for me to do that. Because, yeah, we want a big space to uh, make these things. So the next thing is a pasture and I want to place this besides water because uh, both for sparing my money and my resource and also because this is a pretty good placement because if you can see we can make a little bit of a bridge with scaffolding for a wagon to pull uh, to take uh, the resources we um, produce from the pasture right over to a barn right over here so if i'm just going to place a barn right here then this should be dandy so we can also upgrade the pasture but we we're not going to do that right now we will start by producing leather as you can see up here it autom automatically took the uh, the water in automatically because it was right besides a water source. So that is amazing. The next thing we want to do is pull this over here. Over to a grain mill. Because now we can use one of the recipes in the grain mill. Which is animal feed. And this is going to be amazing. Animal feed can be pulled. Yes, animal feed can be pulled with a shoot. I couldn't remember that, but that's good. So now it's going to produce leather, which is the resource we need for upgrading our base to level four. We actually also need a leather um, production for making books later on, because books, as you can see here, books gives 10 writing supplies per book instead of paper only giving one writing supply per paper. Her book is giving 10. So that is amazing. I actually would like to make a production of enchanted books at some point. But I, I'm not there yet at all. Because I don't even have the... What is it called? The recipe for it. Uh, the recipe for uh, enchanted books is actually... Very, we can... Very, we can... Uh, Uh, when can we get it? We can... Uh, we get it... Oh, it should be around here somewhere. We will get the enchanted books, I think. Isn't it? I actually don't remember. Um... Enchanted books! Hello! <laughs> I can't seem to find the enchanted books anywhere. Wait. Do I already have the recipe for that? I don't know. But it looks like we have a good production going on right here. So the next thing we want to do is make a little bit of a bridge with scaffolding right here. 
and to make it a little bit uh, look a little bit nicer we're going to give it some wood pillar scaffoldings right down here so we have a little bit of a bridge design going on right here after that we want to place some roads on top of the scaffolding and after that we want to make a um wagon that pulls these items into this barn it pulls both items both the fertilizer and leather into this and we re we really need a fertilizer because now we can make farm tiles and this is going to be amazing because now we can move this back here because now we can make a big placement of um like a uh, good uh big farm going on that produces grain and we have a barn over here that has four stacks of grain in it so that's pretty good i'm just taking a little bit of wine cheers to everybody but yeah let's see what do we need else okay we need 20 happiness points and i'm not quite sure how we will get as you can see here it it's going up slowly i'm also losing a little bit of happiness if every so often but i think it's because i need to uh, make a better production but actually i could do this I could make a farm right up here. Like right here. That is uh, with some farm tiles going around it like this. And then we can put grain on it. Not very lots of grain. And then we should have it going. Actually, oh, I need to use some money because I need to remove those two and uh, get rid of those. I will get them back. Don't worry, I will get these back. I will get all, I all will always get the resources back when I delete them, except when I use the, the remove resource tool. I will not get them back. But when I just delete them with the right uh, by clicking right click, I will always get the resources back. And here we go. Now we can begin our production of cloth conveyor belts. Conveyor belts are critical tools for automating your town. Place them on a building's front tile and resources will automatically be output, output on them and carried away. You can also directly feed resources into any other side or level of a building from a belt. That is amazing. And actually, I can all... all Okay, I can almost upgrade the base. So when it's like, when it, as soon as it hits 20, I am going to uh, click uh, upgrade. Because I really, really need this. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, I can, I, I will actually begin with the logistics now. Intermediate logistics. Because as you can see here, we can get a lot of different things. I will get into those as soon as I get them. But we, r I really want these. And I really want this uh, farm to uh, begin producing these grain. And actually, I want to uh, dismiss these far farmers right here. These workers that is gathering that and i will delete all of these right here and then transport the chute system right up here because now we will get transport the grain directly into here and this will be a much faster and much better production the next thing we want to do is make a well right here and a wagon besides it 
and pull the water automatically out of here because now we have a totally automated production of regrowing grain and that's amazing how much fertilizer do i have i have a lot of leather right here actually i don't need that leather anymore not right now at least so if i'm just removing this let's see here because uh wait this is transporting oh no 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 it should not be transporting the animal feed so i think i will begin to produce um raw chicken because this will give us um two or i could also do this produce beef that will give us three red coins but this is much a faster process process so i will do this So, yeah. If I can just begin the process of making chicken, this will be amazing. So if I'm just doing the same, pulling everything out, this will be super dandy. After this, I will make... Okay. After this, I will make a road right here. So my I can place a wagon right here to pull the chicken into the food market because n now we will get a lot of red coins and that's really good. And now I should be able to upgrade my base. I can't upgrade my base. Why? Because my, I need to this wagon to pull stone bricks into the base because I don't have I only have nine stone bricks now apparently so. So yeah. This farm over here is going pretty good, actually. So if I'm just going to uh, make this process right here a little bit um, uh, we are just um, closing the process right there. And then we can make some farm tiles right here. And then we can put grain on top of these farm tiles. And I completely forgot again. These two farm tiles in the back right here need to go away. Because we want a well right here. And after this, we want a wagon to pull the water into here. And we want it to take the grain. And we can just assign three two extra workers to the yeah to the place and uh, this should begin to uh, go a little bit faster we can begin to upgrade the houses to level three but i don't want to right now because that would be completely stupid um so yeah i think i will wait with that to i can't even remember the next is med medicinal or how you pronounce that i am not sure but uh yeah and we don't have any means to make any med medicinal items in yet so uh, that would be stupid Okay, now we could upgrade the base. And yet again, we get mm, increased by, uh, house capacity by four. We unlock the kitchen, which means we can make cooked things. We can make a lot of different foods now. And we get the apothecary, which means that we now can upgrade our houses as soon as we get a production of medicinal items. Because now we can sell the medicinal items in the apothecary. So that's really good. And I think I will already now place the apothecary. I can't place the apothecary because you need iron. But 
I think I, I really want to place the apothecary right here about here because it has li nearly the same capture it has basically the same cap capture rate capture rate by of the houses as the two other selling buildings so that's good but um yeah how much fertilizer we have a 13 fertilizer oh my god i'm so sorry actually we don't have a good production of fertilizer so we have a good production of fertilizer we don't have any means to transport it because this wagon right right here only wants to transport chicken because it's so fast so the, what we're going to do right here is make another bridge make a road and make another wagon so pull this fertilizer out and this is assigned to only pull chicken out so now we can now we have a better production of fertilizer or now we have a better mean of transporting fertilizer i should say but yeah so uh, this is going pretty okay actually and we have nearly 2000 yellow coins so that's pretty good actually and also i think i will begin to put more houses down because i really like to have a good population capacity so if i'm just going to do this then we should have a good capacity we're just going to upgrade all these bases to at least level two because since we don't have a, a apothecary we can't upgrade the houses yet and i really want this production to go faster but it can't right now so that's pretty sad but yeah um next thing i want to do is probably make it a little bit easier for these guys right here to uh, transport thing okay so uh, these guys right here can just uh, this guy can needs to uh, take wood from there these guys can still put pull, uh, chop wood from these trees right over there I actually still need a uh, I think I will assign an, uh, two extra workers to get apples because we need the extra money and the extra happiness so yeah and I think I will actually begin to uh, produce some med medicinal items uh, oh I'm so sorry and uh, to produce the medicinal items we will have to make a wait we will have to make a workshop but I just need to make sure we can right now we can only make bandages I really want the pulses because um, it's a much better re uh, resource it's a much better uh, it gives more happiness and it gives more red coins so uh, but the first thing after this research right here would be metallurgy because we need the iron to make an apothecary it wouldn't make sense to make the pulses when we don't have an apothecary so if we make iron ingots iron plates actually first then we will be able to make the pulses after so right now we're just going to um 
use the small production we have going on right here. I also think I will assign two extra workers to uh, carry some stone into this and to make it a little bit easier for my workers right here. I will make a little bit of a road for them so they have a, a little bit faster by m to move the stone. Um, yeah. I need to... Uh, I don't really think I actually need to uh, have a uh, faster production or a better production of food. Because this should actually uh, work pretty, uh, pretty well, actually. We can actually... <gasps> oh my god, I just saw the ace. We have fish over here. Do we have fish any closer to our base? We have fish over here and we we don't have fish anywhere else. That sucks so much. <gasps> we have carrots over here and tomatoes. That is amazing. I can make a lot of good things out of those. But yeah. We need <clears throat> we need a way to transport these over to the food market because it gives a lot of food and also it gives a lot of um wait what's it called okay i just found a little bit of a problem um i will m make a barn right beside here just up here and uh, make this transport these two items into here because as soon as we uh, get these out of the way we can get all the chicken inside again and uh, this needs to uh, put the, ch the fertilizer into it now we have the logist logistics logistic blocks and we have a lot of so the ones I use the most is Gravis, which will is some kind of item filter because it says will pull specif specified items out of a building into a build or shoot, belt or shoot. And that's really good. And the splitter place on shoot or belt alt alternates output directions if available. So this evenly splits items to Maximum three ways. And that's really good. Now we will begin to um, research metallurgy. And this takes a hundred researches for it to be done. But that's okay. So if we're just making... Uh, this right here and make a little bit of a road right here we can get this wagon to transport fertilizer right into here wait it needs to pull the chicken out here out of here out of this and into here and when it has pulled the chicken out of here I can begin to pull um fertilizer into here so wait 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 uh, deliver it to here and then pull the rest of the fertilizer out of here because when we have done that that is really good now we can begin to make this uh, put the chicken back into here again now we have some 30 happiness, which gives us plus 30 plus extra uh, production bonus. And that's really good, actually. We also have a lot of fertilizer, so we can actually expand the farm just by a little bit. And that would be pretty nice, actually, to expand the farm just a little bit. So we have a little more grain to work with. So if we're just doing this and the same up here then we should have a okay production of 
uh, materials. At least brains, which is one of the most important right now. So yeah, now we have 40 happiness, which gives us plus 40 percent production bonus and that's really good so uh, yeah i think i will make this uh take this out of here and put it into the general store again because we really need uh the extra uh, we need the general goods to be um To be uh, consumed more often and i will i'm also making a lot of conveyor belts i'm not looking to uh, sell con uh, wood wheels because i really need them right now but um actually i just rem uh, came to think of something because i get i have a lot of trees and i have a little bit of money wait i have fish right here oh my god oh they have been removed also right here but there's a lot of fish actually so if i take the fish from like here so if i'm okay i i had another plane right now but it needs to be a uh, down prioritized by this actually we need to uh, surround this by this instead because this is this looks better really this just looks better so if i make a path around and over here and uh, down here and around here then there should be a way for them for my workers to uh, transport the fish but um, before we can do that we need to make a bridge this is the first like real bridge we're going to make so uh, if you if you pay close attention to what i'm making right here this should be awesome so if i do this yes the grain can still go under there that's really good so if i assign like four workers okay that's too much maybe like maximum three workers that uh, is fishing and transporting the fish to the um, food market that will be really good because that earns us one red coin for each fish and also gives us a um, lot of more food consumption so that's good and i will just uh, get the terrain a little bit up over here then i will make a lumber mill that makes planks was that right Yes, I just need to put the lumber mill a little bit over here instead. Planks, and then we're going to make a workshop. We need more stone, so if I'm just going to assign two workers to transport some stone into the base, that would be really nice. So if I make a uh, path right there. This should be fine. And now I can make the workshop. So if I make the workshop right here. That makes wood wheel. Wood wheels. And get a wagon. To pull the wood wheels. out of the workshop okay that was amazing out of the workshop and into the 
general store. This should be a good production. So if I just take a wagon right there and assign that to pull wood out of planks out of there, I will assign four workers to chop wood into this lumber mill. So we can make a production of wood wheels. And I will make this wagon transport the wood wheels into here. Then we have a production, a better production of consumables. What were they their assigned uh wait? What? Why are they just are there just Oh yeah those were the, were the Apple guys. Well you can go on retirement early and then we can make some road right there. Actually we can uh, delete the road right there. So we have some road right there instead and then here. And then we have the road going like this. That lo this looks a little bit uh, nicer and this is really good. So uh, I don't really need more workers for these things. And since I have a wagon that pr that is pulling wood wheels out of this, uh, I actually don't need this wagon over here to pull uh, the stone bricks into the general store anymore because we have the wagon to produce to uh, pull wood wheels out of this all the time. And we also have this over here that is always producing more wood wheels for us so we can make more wagons. So this is really good actually. So we have a good production going on right here. And um, we should soon enough have the metallurgy. Yes, we, should, we are almost done with uh, researching the metallurgy. And that's really good. So we have a lot of iron right here, actually. We have a lot of iron everywhere. Everywhere. So, yeah. The next step for me is when I have researched the forge. If I get the forge. Unless I get the forge. As soon as I have um No 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 wait I will I get the forge as soon as I have researched the metallurgy. So when I get the forge, that is when I need to uh, make the decision of where to put uh, the forge. I could actually place it right here because it has a nice placement of both coal nearby and iron nearby. I would really like it to uh, be placed near this bunch of iron, but but then the workers should have a bridge of going all around and a long way and that's irritating and actually a lot of waste and I would actually waste a lot of, a lot of material. So uh, that wouldn't be that good. So this is really good. We have a lot of uh, fertilizer and that's so nice. And we have a good production over here of uh, wood wheels, so that's also really good. Why is the happiness still like this? I don't know. But... Um, yeah. Some places I have uh, three happiness, other places I don't. Mm. But that's okay. So, uh, when I get the forge, which I will get uh, in like two seconds, like right now, I, I, I have gotten the forge. So that's really good. So uh, now I can begin to uh, do the medicine. 
And that's really good. So uh, now I can place the forge right over here. Actually. I say actually a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but uh, now I can place the forge, forge right here. Now I got the silo. But I really want to uh, have the iron plates be produced right over here. And... Uh, I'm just going to lower the terrain just a little bit over here. So I have a little bit, bit more space for a um, barn. I am going to place a wagon right here. To pull iron plates out of here. And then I will have uh, like three workers to... Um, Gather yeah, iron into this chute. Iron is also a raw material, so that's will all, would also work with the chute. So that's fine. And then we have the coal production over here. And with that, I'm actually only going to assign one worker because it's not going to use that coal that fast anyway so that's fine with just one worker and then i should have a good production of iron going on right here actually and now i can as soon as i have gotten 20 iron plates i can begin the to build the apothecary and then i can begin the production of Pulses, as soon as I have researched medicine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But um, I think the last thing we're going to do in this episode is building the apothecary. Next episode, we will be looking into making the pulses. So we can get some medicinal items also. And that would be pretty nice. So yeah, and um, I, I think I will begin a cotton farm also. I can actually begin to um, gather some cotton right away. Just need one worker, gather this cotton, put it in here, because I can assign a farmer to farm only cotton, as long as I have it in my inventory. So uh, as soon as I have gotten that, I can build it like build a little uh, production place ish thingy at a pretty uh, flat uh, area which could be right over here actually we just need to uh, remove the stone right here and a little bit of the grain I have lost so much money but that's okay I will actually need to have a uh, shoot system going on. And this little worker right here is also gathering wood for the lumber mill. So if I'm just going to do this and put two more workers right here, then this should be dandy. And then we can pull the wagon wheels out again. And how much I, I have enough iron for the apothecary. I can clearly see that. So apothecary and place it right here. Now we have the apothecary. And now we can sell the bandages, the pulses and medical wrap. Medical wrap is a little bit hard for me to make right now. I don't even think it's possible to, for me to make right now. I can... Just look it up. Uh, medical wrap. I can't make it right now because I don't have ointment. And ointment is a little bit of a hard recipe. So uh, yeah. But uh, I'm going. I'm uh, in the process of researching medicine. So that's really good. 
I also have a lot of iron over here, so that's good to stock up on some iron. And yeah, actually this production is going fine. And we can close the episode off by actually upgrading our base yet again to level 5. So I think we should do that. Yeah, yet again, you know the routine, increased house capacity by 4. And we get specialty goods. That's actually the last consumable thing houses can consume. So that is really good we get that. But we can't use it right now because we don't have anything, any way to make specialty goods. And the only specialty good I want to make is a cake. And we don't have the resources and means to make a cake yet. A cake production. So we have to wait with that. We can't build the building itself when we have reinforced plank. 40 reinforced planks and I think I will place it like right here. Or maybe like right here. I am actually not sure. I could actually place it right here. I think I will place it right here actually because uh, that would be a little bit better because it would have the same kind of caption area for uh, the houses as the other buildings. So that is good. But yeah. Uh, I think I will end the episode right here guys. So uh, we have uh, actually done a substantial amount of things this episode. And, uh, have, and we have gotten a good production going on. So that is good. I just saw we have some barriers over here. And that is going to be amazing to do for us later on. But I will end this episode right here. Uh, remember, guys, if you like this video, please make sure to click the little like button down below. So I know you enjoy the series and want to see more. And uh, remember to click the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you like what you see. And also remember to click that little notification bell right beside the subscription, uh, subscription button. Because YouTube, as I said in the first video, is shit right now. So it doesn't give you a notification every time you upload a video. So if you want a notification every time, click that little notification bell. And uh, with that being said, see you in the next video.